Hello everybody. This is a Grasshopper 725K with an SL61 mower deck. I have broken the belt. This is an aftermarket belt. I did buy it from a Grasshopper store, but it it is the right number, but it definitely wasn't Grasshopper belt. This, on the other hand, is, and I've had this issue before. It's got the same number as, as the other one, the black belt, 382090. But uh, the belts that go in the hydros, I replaced with the same number, but basically non-grasshopper, and I broke them both in a matter of a couple months. Um, so I don't know, maybe that's the case. This belt is not very old, maybe six months. So I'm wondering if maybe I didn't have the idler uh, too tight or something like that. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to remove this. I'll probably switch to fast forward um, just because of the time. We'll see how we get along. Um, but anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Chamber Break on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I'm uh, posting mostly these types of videos where I work on equipment and whatnot on YouTube. But uh, tell your friends, it does help me out. Uh, not really financially, I, I don't have any ads on mine. Um, but feel free to uh, like and subscribe and tell your friends. And if you got any questions or comments, let me know. Otherwise, this is how you replace the belt on an SL61 Grasshopper Mower Day. Thank you. Enjoy. Now, I don't... I take the guards off uh, because I've never been able to get to the belt um, without it. Uh, a little hint that I do have. Um, I do have a picture, a schematic. You always do that when you take a belt off, uh, especially if it's not bad. That way you know exactly where the belt goes back. And like I said, there might be other issues here since this belt broke so quickly. But I've had issues before with belts on these grasshoppers that weren't grasshopper belts. Uh, again, that could be just totally my my I don't know my my thing. I shouldn't have put something that wasn't grasshopper related since I've had experience before. But here we go. Get this off. Right here is a guard that actually holds this onto this main drive wheel. This is one of your blades. And I had trouble getting that to stay tight. And I got it to stay tight this last time. But it's entirely possible I went too much as well. And began to rub the belt. I just don't know. Um, I use a deep well. It is self-tapping. Meaning that it taps into a threaded bolt or nut or even maybe the frame down there. I don't know. But I do know you cannot get your belt on without loosening that um, first. For those that are wondering why I'm using my feet, I'll watch my other videos and then you can actually see me in my wonderful glory. It's not really glory, but uh, you get the point. That idler off so that I can get the belt underneath there.
Okay. There it is. Actually, it was easier the second time around. Incredibly tight. So we'll double check, make sure I got it correct before I try to apply the idler. The other thing I've learned is it's best to do this piece first before the idler, otherwise, I can't get it on. Here we go, belt replaced. Looks good, feels good. Check all my lines, they look good. I will uh, back her out and fire it up before I put the shields back on.